think it's getting amazing as day goes by with this AI stuff. I know that Wix have done a whole lot when it comes to web without coding, creating websites without coding. But there is this new AI out there that have changed the way we do things. So with this one, it's going to create everything from ground up with just prompt. So without any further ado, I'm going to be showing you how to create your own portfolio website or even landing page in a matter of seconds. Let's get right into it. Alright, so today I'm going to be using Framer.com. So just go to Google, type in Framer. I'm going to leave the link to this website in the description below. Framer.com. Hit enter. So this is the website and all you want to do is to sign up. Uh, if you want to know if there is any free stuff here, you can right click on this, go to pricing and you can see that they have different fast pricing. But for this tutorial, I'm going to be doing the free version. So if you want to upgrade, you can see the mini, basic and pro version to unlock several other things that you may want your website to do. Okay, let's continue. Um, sign up. I'm going to hit on sign up button and you can sign up with your Google account or your email. So I'm going to sign up with my Google account. All right. So this is it. So once you land there, you can decide to take a tour and it's going to guide you through what each button does. But I don't think I need that. Well, we just quickly just finish everything. Um, that's OK. I just want to start get started. So now that you are here, so what you want to do is to type in a prompt, right? You remember how I got here? So you're going to see something that looks like this. Just click on this start with AI. Once you click on that, it's going to throw this up for you. It's going to require you to write the prompt that you want to use to generate your own landing page. So I've already written mine here. I'm going to be developing a portfolio website for a photographer named 90s the page should should sell my services and include list of portfolio work by the way 90s is my friend who is into photography so this is the prompt i have for him so i'm gonna just copy this and paste it on the on this text tab here once i do that i'm gonna just click start once i hit on start the ai will start generating the landing page for me so you could see it is beginning to generate the landing page for me and you can see i have three interfaces here i have for desktop i have for tablet and i have for phone if you are conversant with um figma you can see that this interface kind of look a little bit like figma but it is not figma <laughs> it is not figma so it's, it's generating the portfolio website Wow, this is this is so cool. This is cool, so cool. Now, why this is happening? Look at this thing here. This basically means that I can decide to even publish this website right now. If you are conversant with Wix, the way it works, you can publish your website with Wix. The same thing happens with Frame.ai. You can also publish your own website with them. So I will just say not now. And of course, I can see see the public button here. And I can say publish through this. I have the invite button to invite friends. The play button if I want to preview what I've created. What I'm going to do is that I really don't like this color. I'm going to change it. It's still cool though, but I'm just going to change it. And let me let me check out this. This is not what I want. Let's see if I'm going to find something amazing. Whoa! I think this is this is cool. This is cool. Hey, a quick one. If you find this video interesting just hit the like button this is the only way we can get this information to the hands of those that also need this particular information it helps the algorithm to get it to their hands and also leave a comment for us we like reading your comments and review regarding our videos all right let's continue learning this is not the only colors here you can decide to even refresh this when you refresh it it changes to some other colors i think this is cool i like this one now i like this one now so if you are okay with this you can also play around with the display test if you don't like the way this test is looking now let me look for something like uh, this yeah you see 
it changed how it's been written here. If you find something that you are happy with, then you can you should go with that. Now I've changed the way the display font is. I can also change the test itself, like the way the test are written, I can change it to something else. Let me check out fig tree. Yeah, it changed to something else. I can also change to mangrove. So once you are happy with whatever you have, you just stick with it or you can always feel free to change it. All right. And one more thing I also want to show you here is when you click on a particular um, written item, like something like this, this is kind of a testimonial, and you want to maybe change the test, you can either double click and type your own test. I highly recommend him. Or you can click on it and once you hit this magic button here, it's going to change the test. It's going to rewrite this particular statement that Mr. Polaroid left here. So I can click on that and it's going to generate a new comment for me. Yeah, so this is it. So if I'm happy with this landing page, I can go ahead to preview it. Once I click on this button here, you can preview this landing page. See that? very very easy this is so 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 beautiful yeah and i can go back and then continue now let's look at the menu tab on the menu tab there are many things happening here we have our insert if you want to insert much more pages we have um i'm gonna just close this we have the layout layout is where you add columns you add grid you know you can feel free to play around this this is test this is crm CRM, this is like customers. If you have a list of customers, you can just know what CRM, people in marketing industry kind of play around with CRM. And we also have some other action buttons here. But let's just go back to today's. Now, when you're on insert, you can see that there are many, 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 many more things that we could add here. We can add even media, we can put video, we can insert a new section if I want to. I hit on this it's going to add a new section for me right here and if i don't want it i can delete it i can add whatever i want to if i want to add much more portfolio i can click on this to add something else now you can add navigation if you choose to um, let me just quickly go up remember this is just a big portfolio website just feel free to play around this and then add whatever you want to add here you can also regenerate your your website if you choose to so if i click on regenerate it's going to generate another framework for me yeah so it's written wow <laughs> so just feel free to play around this so you can have different structure you can have different structure for for the same website that you are creating or the same portfolio that you are creating or landing page or whatever it is that you are doing i think i prefer this this is actually cool <laughs> wow this is amazing yeah just feel free play around it hey i want to take a moment to thank you for watching my video from the beginning to the end and thank you for subscribing to my channel if you haven't done so please do well to subscribe to my channel and also invite your friends and family to also have access to this information thank you once again for being on my channel today and don't forget to turn on the notification button so that you can get alerted each time we publish new content is that okay by you i hope it is all right catch you in the next one bye